Uh, isn't that just music to your ears? Well, I'm yeah, I mean, it's literally music, but I mean more in the sense that it's nostalgic and gives you like a warm, fuzzy feeling, and yeah, you know. Anyway, hey YouTube, it's Monster Penguin here. Long time no see. Like, really long time. Well, couldn't have been that long. Oh my sweet raisin bread! I guess it really has been a while. Three years, oh no, no, I'm thinking about 2021. No, they make that nearly four in fact. Dang. It, time really does fly. I mean, not that anyone was aching for another one of my videos, judging, judging by my subscriber count. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, you like RuneScape? Well, I'd imagine so if you, well, you wouldn't be here right now. Well, this isn't just any old RuneScape series, especially not like my last venture. My dear viewers, this is Lovescape. Now, what is Lovescape? I hear you asking, you adorable little fudge muppet. Well, I'm glad you asked. Lovescape is a video series where I complete every non-violent quest in the game and only level skills that do not require combat teams. Well, every free-to-play quest, that is. Depending on how things go, I might do members quests as well, but I am nowhere near as familiar with members quests as I am free-to-play ones. So, I'm starting free-to-play first. So let's go over the rules real quick, shall we? I am only allowed to use skills that do not require combat to level. This means I will actually be allowing so-called combat skills like prayer and magic, so long as I do not use them to attack another creature in combat, and only use them for non-combat purposes. Seeing as prayer only adds buffs, and magic has spells like telekinesis, teleport, and alchemy spells, that don't really require me to fight anyone or anything to use. I will be obviously allowed. This will still increase my combat level, but this one isn't about how a low combat. It's about spreading peace and love to all of Gelinor. Rule number two, I must complete every <coughs> free play quest in the game as long as it does not require combat or killing in order to complete it. Now, there is one caveat to this. If even if I do not personally click or f like attack a creature, but I still do it in a cutscene, I still can't do that quest because I am technically killing something, even if I am not the one in control of that situation. Rules are pretty self-explanatory, wouldn't you say? So let's get this run a going. So first, we have to make an account. We'll start by typing some stuff into runestate.com, and bingo! We're all set. Now, instead of boring you with the literal 30 minutes it took me to decide what char my character should look like, I shall introduce you to the menace that is... Thick Keith. Oh, isn't he a beauty? I almost... wait, what's that noise? Hey, shut up, you stupid clock! I'm trying to make a YouTube video! No? Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I don't care anyway. Anyway, we head over to the guide and, yes, we are an experienced player. And also, I'd like to point out that how Thick Keith has a different beard and mustache color. It's kind of like Mario, and I've always found that kind of strange. But then again, my beard and hair color are different, so I guess there's that. Anyway, despite claiming our superior knowledge, this guy just won't stop talking. I just want to play the game, dang it! Moving on, we speak to a lady who teaches us how to catch and cook fish. A very useful skill that I am sure we are going to be using very often throughout this run. After telling us about skills, we cut down a tree and begin a fire to cook some tasty shrimp. Mmm, -hmm, look at those tasty little morsels. I wonder if I can enhance thick Keith with a pair of toasty buns. Also, I've brought a friend along with me. That helped me with this little something later on this island. This man right here is none other than YouTuber extraordinaire Peachy117. He's actually doing a run in RuneScape called Oddly Skilled, which he explains much better in his video than I would mine, so just go and check him out. Also, he's just a lot funnier and a better editor than me, so I mean, there's that.
After cooking some shrimp, we head over to the cooking tutorial 2, Electric Boogaloo, as this master chef teaches us how to bake some toasty buns, which we gladly prepare and bake over his range, and begin the takeoff, but not before enjoying his lovely painting. We go for a jog across the island, gotta make sure to get your exercise in for the day, and we meet up with a man who just won't shut up about questing. You think he's some sort of expert on quests for how long he goes on about them, but it's nice to having the to-do list, I guess. We tell him one last time to shut his trap before sliding down his ladder into the basement. For some strange reason, his basement is just a large cave, where we find a man who gives us a pickaxe and tells us to get mining. So, we mine some copper, and then we mine some tin, before heading over to smelt ourselves at Bronze Bar. Now he wants us to uh, smith a bronze dagger. Uh, or whatever, I guess. We'll craft a weapon of war and make our way to the next area. But now it's time to prepare ourselves for the trial that is. The Combat Tutorial. Let me introduce you to Bread Crumb. He is one of my accounts that I used to help test uh, Tutorial Island because I knew there was a combat tutorial I was going to be on and it was going to be a pain to try and get past. So let me demonstrate the issue with several examples. First, let's bring Bread Crumbly into the rat cage. Making sure we have auto retaliate off, we aggro the rat and just wait for it to kill us. But it never will. The rats are programmed never to be able to deal damage to you when you only have one health left, and they only do one point of damage at a time. I sat here for nearly 20 minutes letting this rat attack me, but to no avail. But the rat can actually kill you. In this video by XKPKer, an apt username I must say. He shows off how the rats can kill you by lighting a fire when you have two health points left, causing the damage to stack, and you being dealt all the damage at once. I don't know what, why the lens flares are there, or, or all the crazy zoom-ins, but I do like the pistol cursor, nice touch. But after dying, he ends up in Lundbridge, skipping the rest of Tutorial Island. Sadly. This is not possible anymore, as shown by this reddit post here, and by this video by Tallylove, where he does the same thing and dies on Tutorial Island, only to respawn in the first house on the island. So I guess that's a no-go. So I try the next logical step. I try talking my way out of the situation, and even just trying to run out, but both of my efforts were fruitless. And as of right now, there's no way I know of that you can skip the combat tutorial. So, I guess Bread Crumbly is stuck here forever. But we don't have to be. I do technically fail this challenge because I have no way of killing rats. But we do have the next best thing. My plan here is to get as little combat experience as possible from the rats by having Pichu do most of the damage to them, and I will finish off the rat. It's the same uh, technique used in uh, level 3 uh, fire game rats. So, after talking to that murder horny man, the Naka, we put our plan into action. We head inside, and Pichu starts dealing damage before running away and letting me have a finishing blow. And voila! We've done it! Wait. Uh oh, hold on. The objective didn't update, but I still got the experience? Oh, come on! Shit! Ugh. Okay, I'm sure I did something wrong, but at this point, I'm just gonna kill the stupid rat. So much for that idea. I mean, I guess as long as I don't gain any level from in the combat skills, we're good. Ah, oh, gosh, sucks so bad. Ugh. Okay, let's just finish the steed up and drop all our uh, disgusting tools of murder for uh, moving on, shall we? So, next up is the bank, and we do uh, bank-related things.
before heading off and, uh, I guess reading a poll, which I really don't care about, we then talk to this man about uh, something or other. I don't know, man. I, I just stopped caring to read the dialogue at this point. That rat murder is still burned in my retinas. We talk to a priest and, uh, try and absolve ourselves of our sins, and he teaches us how to get on our knees and beg for forgiveness. Finally, the last challenge. The magic tutorial. We try and teleport out before realizing we can't, and except that we must hurt this chicken. Well, it should survive, so we should be fine. Just cast a little ball of wind here, and... Wait. No, 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 no. No, it, it did not just die. You... Gotta be kidding me right now! That chicken died and I, I just did one damage! How did that chicken die? Okay, I even checked the RuneScape wiki and looking at it, that chicken has three goddamn health. How did that chicken die from one hit? I am so. <sighs> <sighs> Alright. I, I guess it's over. We're done for. Bloodlust overcame Thick Keith. It overcame me. Lost. No. No, this is not the end. No, we're we're moving on. New character time. Okay. Got another account. And after what well, was probably about 30 minutes of character customization, we have ourselves a new character. Our new challenger to the Lovescape Challenge. A new hero to guide us on our journey of love and peace. And this hero, his name is... That's right, Thick Keith, baby! He's back with another C, because he's twice as thick. Now, oh, I completely missed the guide. We talked to him. We go fish some shrimp out of the grass? Okay, so we cut down the tree, of course, and then you gotta make the fire and <laughs> cook the shrimp on it. What else are you gonna cook it on? So, and there's a taste of the motions right there. Head over to the chef. He tries to get us to make another loaf of bread. So I'm an expert at this by now, come on. Give me something a little harder next time, like an apple pie. Talk to the quest guy. <laughs> Thank you for the quest again. Uh, head over to the, uh, get some tin. Then we get some copper. There, that copper is. I'm gonna smelt that beautiful little bar while trying to take a look at uh, the Keith's uh, rear end. Getting a little dagger again. Just get some more thing. Talk to this murder hungry fellow over here. Uh, now we go through our inventory and then we just try and kill this rat again. Come on. Come on, Keith. Come on, you can do it. There we go. We got that rat. Okay, now we just gotta shoot another one in the face and we're out of here. Oh, right in the f Oh, that one went through right through the eyeball. Okay. We go to the bank and do bank things, do the whole thing, of course. And I still don't care what you have to say. Then we have over the father that hopefully forgives us for killing those rats. And finally, back here. It's all up to this. Here we go. It's alive! It's alive! Okay, we did it. We did it. Okay. Let's just get us out of here now. We're over it. It's all done. You just gotta get out of here. Come on. I don't care at all about Iron Man. Get me out of here. Get me home. Get, get me home. Damn it. Oh! We're done. We're done. We're done. We're out. We're out. We're out. Oh. 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 Great. We're, we're back home. In Lundy. Perfect. Who's this over here? Oh, nope, we can't have that username. <laughs> I mean, he cans, obviously. But... <sighs> I'm just glad I have it. Alright, next time. I'm gonna do some quests, baby. Hope you're ready for it. <laughs> I'm not sure I am. <sighs> Alright. You have a wonderful evening. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the end card. Man, it has been a while, hasn't it? <sighs> so, 
How are you guys doing? Uh oh, why am I asking that question? I mean, you're not gonna respond. So, yeah, four years. Jeez. So, I've been gone for a while. Um, kind of taking a. I took a break for a little bit, mostly because my p computer died. But also, it, it kind of let me grow as a human being a little bit. Let me mature a little. No, obviously not too much because of the video. Um, but yeah. Um, I just hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry about the mic quality, by the way. I'm hoping to have a better mic quality and just better recording quality in general by the time the third episode comes up. But if not, I mean, I mean, what can you do? I mean, you only have so much money, you know? And so much time. Ugh. So limited on time. One resource you can't get more of. Anyway, yeah, I just hope you enjoy the video, and I, I hope this is going to be a good series. So, if you want to see anything else of mine, uh, there should be links on the screen. If there's not, then I fucked up. Um... But I don't know why you'd want to watch any of my old stuff, because all of it's so crap. <laughs> um, if you want to check out Peachy, his videos, uh, well, at least his channel is linked on here as well. And uh, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe button's right on the screen as well. Uh, and it's right below the video, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Uh, like button if you want if you like the video. Hell, even favorite it if you want to, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Thank you. So much. Um, I hope to have more for you soon. Um, yeah. I, I don't even know what the point of putting this end card in here was. I, I just kind of wanted to talk and explain things. And yeah. I, I'm going to be back with YouTube bit more. Hopefully back with streaming as well, because I... Man, I enjoyed streaming so much, but th this is carrying on a little too long. So, go ahead and click anything on this video, or just leave. I mean, go watch something else. I mean, the video's over, dude. Why are you still here? Um, yeah, have a wonderful evening. Uh, thanks for taking the time to even listening to this rambling spree at the end if you managed to get this far. Alright, bye.